Well, at least I'm finally out of there. And it feels good to be able to run again. Hello everyone, welcome to today's Month of Discovery game, which is Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Probably one of the more unique horror games I've ever seen. But now I'm actually going to play it in a real capacity. Flesh. Bone. Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. Right, I had it too. Too soft. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. In collaboration with... This is with... not my story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is the story of humanity. Nintendo. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ignorant of so much, and dependent on so few. Is that so? The Guardians grow restless. Their time once again near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path, and they didn't take kindly to it. Their attention turns to my granddaughter, for she is the last of my line. A death in the family. And the last hope for humanity. The last hope for humanity? Don't you think you're going a little overboard there, pal? I guess it's time to save the world! Please shoot. Oh, okay, she does automatically, I see. Gotta press B, I think. Okay, damn it. Okay, so it's A? It's A now? Which one is it? I don't even know the controls. You're putting me right in the midst of it already. It was all a dream. You might want to answer the phone. Uh, hello? Miss Alexandra Roivas? Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. Miss Roivas, I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? Um, yes, I suppose so, considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. Uh, this way. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. I would imagine I'm not. I'm afraid there's not much to see. Miss Roivas, is that your grandfather, Edward? Yes, it's him. He's wearing our family ring. I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. No, none of this makes sense. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Ugh, we don't have a single clue. 
Well, you better find out who did this. I am not leaving Rhode Island until you do. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some. Two weeks later. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police, Alex vows to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past, and possibly a tie to his murderer, it would be here. Yeah, I would imagine so. Okay, let's, let's figure out the controls first. Okay, L runs. R gets into a defensive position? Maybe it'd be better if I actually read. This function allows you to manipulate the environmental inventories and in inventory items. What the hell? Okay, between sections within the interface. I see. So this is a map. Ah, controller. Move character, run. Target an enemy, press and hold the R button. Release and hold to select next enemy. Ah, the A button is to attack. B is to perform an action. Quick spell. C button to reload. Hold to re hold to land all something rounds. Load all rounds. Oh, okay. Well, obviously you load all rounds with the gun. Access return from book. Okay, sneak is X and Y is a quick spell. Fair enough. Let's run. Interesting camera position here. It just sort of follows her. Like it's a security camera or something. Very interesting visuals too. It's a very nice aesthetic. Maybe it's because of things like Nightmare 3D, but I have an appreciation for very antiquated mansions like this. Trace memory was definitely full of it. I enjoyed it. Detail, huh? This looming grandfather clock seems to stand ominously in the corner, gazing on this empty room with an almost patriarchal air. Okay. Use this to adjust the clock hands. Should Alex adjust the clock hands? Yes. I'm guessing you're supposed to have it in a specific way. What way, I have no idea. I'm guessing there will be a clue somewhere else that will tell me. All I know is I'm going to have it exactly at the stroke of midnight. Or as much as I possibly can. It's quite difficult. There we go. Midnight. Is there anything here I can read? There are papers all over the place. Okay. I guess that's not going to be an option. Even though it has the option to exam, I can't exactly read it. Now can I? Frick that thing. Anywho. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. The camera's confusing me because what was forward is backwards and vice versa. Because the camera angle shift. I'm not a fan of games that do that, even if it did give me a second. It still disorientates me. Ooh, a telescope. What might this have? A crank socket is mounted into the telescope and appears to be linked to a mirror supported by a brass pedestal. Like, curious contraption to be sure, what purpose could it possibly serve? Should Alex adjust the mirror? Yeah, I would imagine so. Hmm. That made an audible clicking, now, clicking noise. Does that mean that is in fact where I was supposed to turn it? A globe cradled in a wooden frame. Its glossy surface is painted in the likeness of an ancient map. A lens is situated in the northern hemisphere above a label that reads, There be dragons here. Well, alright then. That's fascinating. Isn't it? Northern hemisphere, huh? Could that be a clue? I have no freaking clue. Oh. It just happens automatically. Ah, okay, I see. Very fascinating. I'm guessing that wasn't the correct answer. Although I'm hearing whispering, so it's hard to tell. Wait, what the? Oh, okay. You can adjust this one as well. 
sure you're supposed to do something with that, but what? I'm not quite sure. And of course, there's another mirror that you can adjust here. Eh, yeah, forget it. What I need to do is find more clues. I'm in the dark right now. One might say eternal darkness. What if I can go back to the area they died in? That might be as good as good a place as any to start looking for clues. The door's locked, of course. Well, at least that's one way to rule things out, isn't it? You okay? You're out of breath. Hmm. A beautiful carriage clock. The hands appear to be stuck, yet the clock continues to tick, with the time permanently set to 3.33. I see. Desk clock and pulls the key from it. However, there's something odd about the key. It isn't for winding at all. Winding at all. It looks like a dresser key. Alex has found a dresser key. The most unique thing about this game, in a horror aspect, is the fact that it has sanity effects. But that, we are way f too f far away from that. In fact, I probably won't even get to see them unless I do another video of this. So vote in the poll in this video if you want to see more of this. Portraits of the ancestral Royvis line, the foyer walls. Their faces reveal a dark, brooding edge. There's something about each one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. I see. Turn. Alright, what I should do first is probably adjust that clock in there. Because now I know what time I need to do. 3.33. You know, half of the beast, the number of the beast. That's always fascinating. Alright, let's do it. Ah, uh, no, detail. Yes. Yes, adjust it. It has to be 3.33 on the dot. Oh, wait, yeah. That, there we go. Oh, just did it automatically. I wasn't even stopping either. I guess once you figure out the detail, it just does it automatically. That's nice. Gotta love a hidden compartment. things was her grandfather into. A large leather antique book rests upon the cluttered desk. Should Alex read the book? No, let's just keep it undefined forever. Obviously, she should read the book. no knowledge of what was to come, nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand, or you will perish. I suppose I will perish. That once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality. To see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. Ancient I was Persia. once a fool. That is fascinating. Where is Quies Kandanast? Where is Konsovondai? Facusatis aquae summa, et animus eorum confirma. Pugna huis, dia sit modo prima multarum, si ingetum compiciamus. It's a nice touch. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. Volo res I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies did not have a chance. Oh, so they can't speak English. Do you English? believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs, or his orders. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong. And patient. Why well, did suddenly go from a different language to English? Is this 
the idea of going into their eyes and knowing what they know, which is represented by changing English, of course. Right, I think I played, I did play this game before, you switch between characters. It's not just a girl forever. Fantastic. It seems we've gotten caught in a pyramid of some kind. I wonder who this is a tomb for. A shaft ascends towards the next level lower. Next lower level, a ladder is situated on one side of the shaft. Well, naturally, that's the one I want to go down. Should Pius climb down the ladder? Well, I am just pious enough to do it. And for those of you who probably didn't know, although I can't imagine why you wouldn't, a pyramid is a resting place for Egyptian leaders. Yeah, that tells me a lot, doesn't it? Some kind of mysterious artifact, I see. And a creature coming back from the dead. I should probably go defeat it, huh? That wasn't too bad. Right, R is how you target one of them. Ah, I actually have a health bar. This represents life energy. Every time a character takes damage, the level will get lower. When it reaches zero, the character will die. Obviously. Should probably try to prevent that from happening. I'd hate for my health to run out before my sanity does. That'd just be a damn shame, wouldn't it? Go straight for the heart. Finish him! Fatality! More like travesty. What's with this box? A strange granite block lies on the floor. Pick up. Pius has picked up a granite block. Oh, so it's just a rock, huh? I got a rock. Great, more of the undead. I'll have to be more dynamic than this. To be very quick about switching targets. There, now die for good. Nicely done. You too. Freaky. Strange granite block rests on the platform. May as well pick up this one too, eh? Maybe I can replace it with the one I picked up earlier. Nope, no content since no context sensitive action for that. I take it that means I was just supposed to take it and run. Take the money and run. Or in this case, take the red eye and run. Ah, crap. Really need to learn how to target better. Darn it. These guys just love ganging up on me. They really are not honorable at all. Die at this rate. For sure, I'm gonna die. Okay, just jump down. I didn't grab the artifact, unfortunately, but 
At this point, I think I'll take that over dying. It's not worth my life, probably. Although I'll have to go back to it eventually. Sure would be great if I could get, regain my health right now. I'll just have to climb back up then. Damn it. Did not mean to do that. Nabbit. Why can't they just stay down? Hurry up and finish them off. I'm almost dead here. Hurry up and stab them in the spine or whatever it is you gotta do. He's not looking so good. Just pick it up, man. There has to be some way to heal. Don't tell me that once you get to low health, that's... you're just screwed, right? What does that do? Right, you sneak. It's not gonna do me any good. He doesn't go any slower than he already is. He's wounded. Severely so. Perhaps going back to fight was a bad idea. Right. We're probably gonna die. Strike that, it's guaranteed at this point. Well, if I only have to face one of them, that, that'll be fine. The problem is, I don't suspect it'll be that easy. You gotta be kidding me. There are several of them. Cut into the wall is a square hole lined with scratches as though something has been removed from it. Return. Is there some way to use the item on it? Ah, there we go. Excellent. I would assume it's the same with all of them. So you use this one. have to run away from those creatures. Well, not really so much run as a very pathetic limp, but you know what I mean. I'll have to keep away from them. I don't stand a chance against them. Good thing their AI pathfinding sucks. Otherwise I'd be screwed. In a big way. Okay, use this one. Just one more to go. You creatures are done for. I returned everything to its proper place. You can't stop me. I'm out of here. Whether you creeps like it or not, I'm out of here. Blowing this too, man. Nice effects, though. Even though you can pretty much tell they're baked in. Because, hey, it was the GameCube era. It was the era of just faking everything for the most part. Even the specular work on his armor appears to be fake. You must prove your worth by destroying the statue. Press R to select within target to attack. Release the R slightly and then seeking it, pressing it again will cycle between multiple targets. Pius can attack specific body parts. I'm moving and pressing A. To attack the head, uh, to attack the arms. Looks, this seems interesting. Ah! I'll just cut off the arms first and then go for the head. Excellent! At least there aren't any more enemies right now. I need healing. Whatever form that takes, I will accept it. Okay, go for the head. Take nabbit. These bastards. I'm really getting sick of these freaks. Ah, damn it, I wasn't able to finish them off. Just 
finish him off, man. Quickly. Make it quick, man. I need to cut his arms off. That'll make him harmless, relatively speaking. About as harmless as you can make these creatures. There. They're all dead. Detail. A button attached to a small pylon softly illuminates the room. A bizarre energy seems to radiate from it. Should pause, press the button. Yes. It can't possibly make things worse. Or maybe it will. Maybe if I go in there, it'll energize me and I'll be healed. Perhaps this will be my salvation. Or perhaps it'll be my damnation. We shall soon see. Ah, it was my damnation. No, I, I'm, I'm fine. What are these artifacts? A strange stru sculpture resembling a red clawed worm mysteriously floats above this pedestal. Should Pius claim this artifact? No, that seems bad. A pale blue statuette floats gracefully above the pedestal. Should Pius claim this artifact? Resembling a warped angel shaped from dark green emerald. Uh -huh. hmm. well, what's this one again? I kind of I kind of like the sound of this one better. A pale blue statuette gra floats gracefully above the pedestal. Let's go with this one. I don't trust the worm, and it says it's a warped angel, so it's probably. Probably a fallen angel. This one seems like the most benevolent, if I'm being honest. Really? It transformed him into the undead? The most benevolent one transformed him into a skeleton? Eons have passed since then. And I have learned much. All at once, I understood. The forces of the multiverse all made sense under the transcending power of Unioth. No mountain too high. No city too far. Face me, and you shall surely perish. Alex has acquired the Tomb of Eternal Darkness. Roll credits. Ding! Well, at least I'm finally out of there. And it feels good to be able to run again. Well, I wasn't looking at that. A diabolical drawing of a st stack of human bodies, each one cemented into place. What twisted psyche could have executed this drawing? Though disturbing, it's medic meticulously rendered down to the subtlest detail. The precise anatomy of fractured bones and the convolutions of spines and ribs entwine into a mesmerizing sight. That sounds freaky. Can I grab that sword? An ancient Roman weapon, a gladius, is on display above the fireplace mantle, another token of eclectic junk. Hey, don't go judging it, you need a weapon. Probably. Might be good to have a weapon, you know? Let's examine this. Strangely, with the Tomb of Eternal Darkness, Alex can read the page. It is a chapter page from the tomb itself. Shall Alex take the chapter page? Yes. Binding of the Corpse God. I don't want to know. This Gothic cathedral is silhouetted against a stark light. The image is viciously and is vicious and devoid of subtlety. Every brush stroke echoes the spikes of the architecture, imbuing a violent feeling as though the building itself is a harsh imposition on reality. A grim picture indeed. Yeah, it sounds like it's very grim. Very malicious. This looks like some, kind of, some sort of mask. The face is serene in composure, with a faint hint of a smile tugging at the corners of the mouth and eyes closed in deep meditation. So, a gesture? Nah. A tortured gesture, maybe? I have no idea. Well, I'm that much closer to solving the puzzle, I do believe. And I do have a desk key, so I'll have to figure out what that's for. Maybe eventually. Right, now that goes into the observatory, and we don't need that. But I 
do need is to go here. And unfortunately to say that this is the end of the video, that is going to have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like very intricately locked doors. The wooden plaque is fastened to the door, taking the place of the lock, a colored sigil. The slot is just wide enough to insert an arrow blade. Ooh, I do believe that this is a clue, and I will see you next time. Now, go there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one. Alex places the blade in the slot, but feels it pushed back. It's as if the magic of the blade does not fit the lock. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I get for assuming. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day in this very eccentric mansion. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.